Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. So I'm gonna need your help on this one. Uh, recently, Coalition Games released a Gears Five tech test. Now, there's two ways you can get this. One, if you don't have Xbox Game Pass, uh, or if you don't have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can pre-order the game and you can participate with this Gears Five tech test. Okay, where you can kind of like it's like a beta testing where you can give in uh, reports on how the game runs, if there are any bugs there, what needs to be fixed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Giving the feedback on how the game is. Uh, however, I'm part of a Game Pass. So I just want to make sure everybody understands that. I am part of the Game Pass Ultimate. So I have Game Pass Ultimate. I should be able to play this. But, however... It does not work. Uh, and it clearly says here, included with XGP, meaning uh, X, uh, Xbox Game Pass. Clearly says it's included with the Xbox Game Pass. So, I downloaded the game. Uh, I tried to start the game. Sorry about the camera. It is what it is. It's not a super high-end red camera. Okay, I'm not a billionaire. I can't afford that kind of camera. I, even if I could, you guys wouldn't be able to watch it in that resolution anyway. Okay? Because not everybody has high-end internet connections. So let's just get that out of the way. Now let's move on with this. I don't know what the deal is here. Maybe some of you guys who have this problem can actually tell me what the problem is here. Or maybe the Coalition Games, if it's watching this video, or Rod Ferguson, if he's watching this video, maybe he can tell me, or maybe Microsoft... Uh, can tell me what the problem is. I have the latest updates on my Windows 10. Everything gets updated. Everything gets updated for July 19th. So everything gets up to date. But look what happens when you click play. Okay, so do you want to allow this app to make the changes? Yes, I click yes. Yes. Do you want to allow this app to make a change to your device? Microsoft Store Package Dependency Installer. Ah, uh, so I click yes. And look what it says. This, check the Windows Store for more info about the Gears 5 tech test. And, okay, I go check the store and I meet all the requirements. I go to the store and all the requirements are met. So I'm just kind of like bedazzled as like, what's going on? It even says here on the store, this product should work on this device. I have Xbox Game Pass. Um, I meet all of these requirements. I even have AMD Radeon RX 5s. Uh, I have RX 7500. I got the latest one. I got the AMD uh, Ryzen. So I got the Windows 10, I got the, the latest updates and everything. I got this, but it still doesn't work. But there's some funny thing here. It says uh, administrator approval required for installation. See the system requirements. And I have those requirements. I met all those requirements. So I really don't understand what the heck is going on. Why it doesn't work. Uh, I guess the only option for me is to, I guess, contact the uh, Xbox Live or M Windows Microsoft and ask them what's going on. Why is it that I can't participate with this tech, Gears 5 tech test? I mean, I have my Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I meet all the requirements. Uh, what am I missing? Is there some sort of application that I need to download to unpack this? Gears 5 tech test, like, what's the deal? Or do I need to wait for Microsoft to send me the codes or something? Because I haven't received anything. This is the only thing I received is that you can download it and you can play it because you're part of the Xbox Game Pass. So I'm clueless here as to what I'm supposed to do here. You know, so... So, uh, any ideas would be welcomed here. I'm just, can't figure this out. 
And yes, I have the Xbox Live. It's part of my Xbox Ultimate Pass Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I have the gold included with my Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So I don't know what the deal is here. Um, maybe you guys can... Program location, hold on. Let's see what it says here. Uh, let's figure this out since we're here. Microsoft Store Package Dependency Installer. Program Location C Windows System 32. Ah, hold on a second. All right, so I was able to uh, to fix this. I'm gonna show you how to fix this. You basically have to go through System Windows System, and then you have to click on the uh, Custom Installation and you have to wait for the system to reboot itself. What this basically does, it authorizes it through the administration. So that way the Windows and the Microsoft knows that you are that person that's playing this game. Uh, so let's go through this game a little bit, this tech demo, and then I'm going to show you how to do this, how to authorize the uh, Gears 5 as an administrator, how to do that. Okay. And I'm going to show you what to look for and where to look for and how to authorize it. Okay. But then again, Microsoft should have been more... Look, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit tech-savvy guy. you know, And I think this proves my point that I'm a tech-savvy guy, that I can understand things a little bit better. Uh, but every everyday Joe, everyday Mary out there, they're not going to know what, what that means. So I think uh, Microsoft should also understand that not everyone is tech savvy. Uh, they don't know what you mean by administrator, how to activate it by administrator. But I'm going to show you actually how to do that. But first, let's look at this game. Um, okay, here's a, cool th here's a cool thing. This is a technical uh, test. And as you saw earlier, this game supports Dolby Atmos, and I have Dolby Atmos headphones. I mean, Dolby Atmos app for headphones, so I can use Dolby Atmos for the headphones. I have the Dolby app, and that's pretty cool. And uh, this game right here supports AMD across the board. Uh, I switched to the red team, and this game, Gears 5, should work really well. So uh, let's let's do this, shall we? I'm going to use my uh, controller. Honestly, I'm going to use my controller. I'm not going to use my uh, mouse and uh, keyboard. Hold on. Almost there. The Gears 5 tech test has not started yet. Oh, oh okay. The test will start on um, July 19th at 1 p.m. So today, I mean Friday... Friday, tomorrow, today, probably is going to be today by the time you watch this video. Uh, I'm going to be testing this on Friday uh, and Saturday. I'm going to test to see how this Gears 5 runs on the PC, on the uh, Radeon RX uh, 5700. And uh, I'm going to dedicate those two days, Friday and Saturday, I'm going to do truckload of videos on the gears 5 and radio and rx 5700 because i have these graphics cards and what better way to test them than with the gears 5 tech demo and we're gonna see what the issues i might have what the problems might have some of those videos will help also rod ferguson and the coalition team to see they can watch my videos and they can see and others videos to see what some issues there might be so when the release of the game gets closer to the September, they will be able to fix those problems. All right, so let's exit the game. We're going to do this tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. I'll dedicate two days just testing Gears 5, so get ready. Um, let me go back to show you how to, ac how to actually uh, activate your Gears 5 tech uh, demo, beta, whatever you want to call it. Uh, versus tech test so let's exit the game and let me show you how to do it all right so first thing first make sure to go to your c drive 
click on your C drive, click on the windows where it's highlighted windows, click on it, click on system 32, and then scroll down all the way where it says custom install executive and click on it and the windows will reboot itself and it'll come back once the windows has rebooted and restarted itself then now you can officially click and start the game from the uh, Xbox Game Pass PC beta software which is right here click on it I have it uh, uh, pinned on my desktop and then click play now the reason you have to do this it's because the Gears 5 needs to be uh, authorized by the administrator and once it's authorized then you're pretty much good to go because this is a tech demo okay so it needs to be authorized and once it's authorized well there you go then you're all set now I'm gonna do a bunch of tests today on Gears 5 tech uh, tech versus demo uh, I'm gonna spend Friday and Saturday two days uh, I think that's how long it's gonna last two days so I'm gonna spend two days I'm gonna make a bunch of videos and I'm gonna test the hell out of it to give you some idea as to how well it works with uh, Radeon 5700 uh, XT it should work really well with a 5700 uh, XT okay so this is the Gears 5 uh, versus tech test so um, it tells you right here it's gonna let you know okay it starts on July 19th and it's gonna end on July 22nd so I have Friday Saturday, Sunday, let me see, Monday, so that's pretty cool. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I get until Monday, midnight. So I'm going to spend three days just doing a bunch of videos on Gears 5. So um, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm going to dedicate a bunch of videos just on Gears 5 with a Radeon 5700 XT. These graphics cards, because they're gonna work the best with a Radeon 5700 XT, 50th anniversary edition. I wanna see how well they're gonna work. So I hope this video was informative. I hope this video helps you out. Uh, well, there you have it. So don't, don't forget, I'm gonna make a bunch of videos Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and possibly even Monday, I'll do some more videos before the end of this uh, tech versus demo. So we have four days to test Gears 5. So this is pretty cool. Well, like I said, there you have it. I hope this video was informative. I'm just trying to help you out. Every video I make, it's not about me. It's about you. I'm trying to help you. So that way, if you don't know what to do, if you're not familiar about all this stuff and how it works, well... This video is going to help you out. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Just follow these steps and you'll be good to go. I guarantee you, you'll be good to go. Have a good one, though. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow with a bunch of videos. All right? So, cheers.